All right, when you're learning how to code, there's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to believe in you and are going to look at you crazy, especially if you have like no education and you're just trying to learn how to code online for free or paying for like a $20 course or, you know, a monthly membership somewhere and you tell people this stuff and you're going to get a lot of funny looks. I, I never really had anyone that just straight up told me like, you're not going to make it, but I... I had people who didn't have to say it. I just knew that that's what they thought. While many of them maybe doubted me, nobody was as hard on me as I was. And nobody doubted me as much as I doubted myself. Even though I tried to play like I wasn't full of self-doubt. I tried to play like I was determined to do it. Most of the time in my own head, I would be telling myself I'm too old, I'm too dumb, I need to go to college for this, I need to go to a boot camp for this. I, I, I studied for months and months and months and I felt like I wasn't learning anything and every time I tried to build stuff, it just felt really hard and I, I wanted to prove people wrong, but at the same time, maybe I was reflecting a lot of my self-doubt when I was talking to people and maybe they really were just curious to hear what my plan was and I was thinking that they were all just kind of like secretly hating on me and thinking that, that I wasn't gonna make it. But I know for sure there was a few people that kind of were just kind of looking at me funny saying, yeah, sure, whatever, dude, you're gonna become a programmer. Like, you're gonna become a programmer. Um, but it was, it was me that was the hardest on myself. And I've, I've always been hard on myself and I still am. It's a really bad habit that I have. I've, I've always just been super critical on everything that I do. Even like when it comes to YouTube and when I have to like edit my videos and I listen to myself talk and I'm, I'm just like super, super critical on all the stuff that I do when it comes to coding, when it comes to anything that I try to do that that really is like me putting myself out there. I guess what I'm trying to get at is that don't listen to anybody that tells you you can't do it. Especially, especially if it's you that's telling you that you can't do it. Because that's gonna be the one person that if you listen to that inner voice in your head that tells you that you can't do it and you believe it, then that's when you're gonna fail. You can listen to everybody else tell you it and you don't have to believe it, right? People will tell you whatever they want to tell you because most people reflect their own doubts on you. And when you're telling people something like you're going to learn how to code and especially when you tell people that you're going to learn from like online resources and watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that, you're going to get a lot of people that are just going to look at you like you're crazy and don't listen to them. Don't listen to yourself when you sit there and you just think that you're too old or too dumb or, or just not good enough or not smart enough and and it your time has passed and you'll never get hired because people aren't going to like you and they're going to know that you're a fraud because you're self-taught and you're not good enough to, to do this and you need to go to college and, and all those things that you're probably thinking. Just don't listen to it um, because... At the end of the day, if you work hard enough for it, no matter how many people doubt you, you can get this done. But you got to put in the work. It's not easy. You're not you're not going to get it in a couple months. You might, but you probably won't. You're going to have to put in work. I mean, I, I, I put in almost a year's worth of work. Most people that I know that are self-taught put in quite a bit of time before they get their first job. It's usually way more than six months. At least the people that I've met that are self-taught. I've, I've had people that have commented on my videos that say that they got hired in a couple months. And I've heard stories of people that got hired in a couple months after being self-taught. But the truth is that I don't know many people personally that got a job that quickly. I, I know people who went to boot camps and got a job like fresh out of a boot camp and 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 they were they got hired. I worked with an individual that did that, but I also know people who went to boot camps and didn't get a job right away and then they had to self teach for months until they were able to get that first job and they had a lot of doubt and I had a lot of doubt and I, I know that there's a lot of people who have years of experience. Myself right now, I still have a lot of doubt that I'm I'm as qualified as my resume says I am. <laughs> and and it's funny because a lot of people have been commenting the same thing. And I've talked to other developers who have experience and not just developers that are self-taught, but other developers who have college degrees and stuff that, that have been coding for a while still have a lot of doubt in themselves. But just... Don't listen to it. Just 
just block it out, right? <laughs> just push it away, say, ah, not today. I'm not gonna deal with that today. I'm just gonna focus and do my work. And that's what's gonna get you there. That's what's gonna help you to cross that finish line and not the doubt. The doubt's just gonna slow you down. The doubt's gonna make you put it down and then come back to it a week later or come back to it a month later or just drop it completely. And at the end of the day, if you, if you do that, then you're just really gonna be upset with yourself a few years down the road when you look back and you're just like, dang, if I would've just kept up with it, I probably could've done it. I, I have a lot of regret for a lot of different things like that in my life that I started to pick up and I put down and I'm glad I didn't do it with code because it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say was if you're doubting yourself, if you've got people who are doubting you and telling you that you can't do it, don't listen to them. Just, just put your head down, focus and work, work your ass off till you get to where you want to be. And that's, that's the secret to anything in life. Uh, and and I, I've just been learning that now in my 30s, which I would have learned it in my 20s or at least listen to people that were telling me that in my 20s. All right. With all that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed this video or you found value in it, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below and tell me what are some of the doubts that you have. And if you want to see more videos on me talking about learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer or whatever I talk about these days, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.